Sisters, it's Rivet with my sister Paluka. Yo, peeps. No, How's it going? no Jader Zach today. It's just us two. And uh, Toby, if you want to count Toby, my cat behind my head. If you want to, if you want to count the loud purring sounds as a character, yes. If he starts purring, come on, purr. Ah, make yourself lick. That didn't sound right. I made you sound like <laughs> <laughs> I made you sound like You gotta love it. Uh, I want that, but I want it like so low. I want it. I made you sound like I can't do low voices. <laughs> I'm a high pitched person. I guess that's why Dipper falls so part of me because Dipper's more, voice is more high. I made you <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's back to the game. <coughs> Ow. That's my shoulder, not my back. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it might help. <laughs> thought shoulder pats would help as much as bad pats. Awkward sibling hug? Hug. Pat. Pat. <laughs> pat me on the boob. <laughs> That's not part of the awkward sibling hug. I love the awkward sibling hug. Get your awkward sibling hugs out of here. I swear <laughs> that baby toy looks like a Digimon. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> I, want it. I want it. I want it to be an in training Digimon. Oh. <laughs> Have you been seeing like the in training Digimon uh, plushies that will be sold at the convention going on? No. They look so cute. They're like they're not only are they plushies, but they're also little pouches. Oh, cool. I'm getting, like, I'm, getting my si I'm getting my sis uh, my sister uh, Jillian to uh, I'm giving her like a hundred dollars. Get me anything Russia themed from the uh, anime convention. She's like, okay. Just comes back with a handmade Russian flag. There you go. <laughs> Made oh. it myself. God damn it. Twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back the money. <laughs> Anyways, he's back a few minutes uh, later with hands full of lumber and a roll of carpet. So that's why all that stuff was in the basement. Oops. Then we realized that we weren't in Hassle Cat. <laughs> Sorry, it might get a little bit noisy in here. Oh, I should have brought my drill. <laughs> it's in the room. I'm gonna start doing that. Just bang, no, bang, no, bang. No, don't want. <laughs> oh, actually, I have to fix that door door hinge. The oh. the thing's coming out. <laughs> That's no problem with me. <sighs> I suppose if you must. You know what? I'll be right back. <laughs> it's bothering me now. Not even gonna pause the video. Nope, we're fine. Uh, uh, anybody, anybody want to vote whether or not I play right now? <laughs> hey! I'll be right there. Give me a second. And then you break the door. Break the door! Oh, it's across the wall. That's not a door. Well, it is now, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Door fixed. Door made. <laughs> door made. La laundry and Reese go back to work. God damn it. I thought I was over with the laundry part. <laughs> Legend of laundry. <laughs> a few minutes later, I hear Finley. I peek up at the balcony and she's fiddling with a laptop or something. Everybody seems to be keeping themselves busy. Maybe I should help one of them. But on the other hand, I'm not getting paid for it, so... Oh, there's nothing about, uh... Haze. Nothing about sneaking into the kitchen. <laughs> I guess we'll go see what Latin Landry is doing. God damn it. <laughs> What's Landry... Oh, I got, I got it! Fuck! Damn it! What's Landry hammering over there? He says something about a ramp. What's up? I like oh, the picture. Avery. I like the picture. Just making some adjustments to the cafe for some newcomers. <laughs> oh my god, that's cute. Oh cool, let me help. You don't have to do that. I don't, but I'm gonna. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's me. You're the narrator. <laughs> <laughs> Durf! <laughs> he laughs, but he keeps going about doing what he was doing. Ugh. I guess that's his way of saying no. Ah, the 
there's gotta be something I can do. Make sure no cats come over while I'm working. I want- I don't want them trying to play on this until we can- I'll get the carpeting on. This one looks a lot different from the others. Oh, hi. The ramp is cute, but do you think they need it? Graves asked me to install these. He said he's bringing in a kitten with, uh... Hypoplasia. Yeah, hypo what's What's hypoplasia? Hypoplasia. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. You can look it up later if you want. Okay. Oh, what's that? Really? He says it's a condition some cats are born with that affects their coordination. I don't need to look it up. <laughs> You're the person out there, freak? I don't want the little guy to get hurt trying to jump on these platforms, so I'm gonna add some ramps to my structures. Cool. I almost didn't catch all of that because he just hammering away while he was talking. Can't, he, can't even take a break for a little conversation, huh? Your structures? Did you make all of these? <laughs> yeah. These are amazing! Make me one. Make Toby one. Toby needs one. Right, Tobias? I thought you were just a charming <laughs> waiter, but you're so talented, too. <laughs> really? We just said that? Really? <laughs> it's no big deal. I'm really grateful Graves gives me a lot of chances to build things like this, though. I love building. I'd miss working with my hands if he didn't set up a workshop for me. <clears throat> Graves did that? No answer. He just hammered away. <laughs> yeah, don't pet Toby and then decide to clear your throat. <laughs> Get a white fur on me. You're lying. Stop watching the fur oh. fly. Oh. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Did you see all the saws and things in the corner of the basement? That's for me. <clears throat> oh, I assumed he was dissecting zombies back there. <laughs> Avery! He gives me a light, playful slap on the shoulder. His other hand is still balancing a hammer while propping up the ramp. Stop making out with a cat. I'm blowing your space. <laughs> Maybe I should take I'm something from him before this becomes a worker's... Uh, Work comp case. Can cats even get workers comp? What? You're so unforgiving. He's really not a bad guy. Seriously, these are amazing though. Did you design the whole place yourself? <laughs> oh goodness, no. Most of it was blueprints. Graves gave me. Most of it, you say? I bet there's some of your own personal genius in there too! Oh, <laughs> you flatter me. <clears throat> I give him a quick wink and smile. At, uh, I wouldn't do that. And he's deeper in the headlights. He drops the hammer quickly, fumbles to recover, and. It, it, it. <sighs> God damn it, English! It's so cute watching him get flustered like that. We all get caught up doing our own thing when I hear footsteps approach me from the kitchen. Why? If it isn't the big boss himself! <gasps> Long enough for Graves to come. <clears throat> oh, you can tell he's a little... He's definitely aged a bit. My wonderful cat herders. I see you've been keeping the place well, uh, well while I've been gone. He looks us over, but his gaze stops me for just a second. You've been watching me because you've been in cat form the whole time. Oh, <laughs> You can't step on the laptop, not while we're playing a game. He has a weirder glimmer in his eyes that that I can't really place. Ew. I'm on to you, buddy. I know you have something to do with that book. Well, he already knows that you have it. It can't have just been there because you're a collector or something. Heck, it has our names in it. 
I don't really understand those pages since the bookmark doesn't work on them, but still. It must be something fishy. <clears throat> Long, uh, laundry. Oh. <laughs> it goes well with, with his accent, but... <laughs> God friggin' sure. Laundry. <laughs> You like take a second to like, come back to it and say it properly and you do it again. <laughs> Landry. Excellent work on the cot's equipment that's always what's hard to try to say Landry in a British accent is keeps coming out laundry. Keeps coming out laundry. <laughs> uh but I'm not done yet. Have you ever given me a reason to doubt? Oh no, you'll do a stellar job. Stop rubbing your face against the laptop, monsieur. I'll, I'll hug you to death if you don't. Just don't get, let, don't, no, let, make sure he doesn't have an asthma attack. We can talk about future designs soon. <coughs> I don't know, I'm having a steering contest with Toby. <laughs> sure thing, boss. Reese, I see you've been keeping your pr protege in line. Keep up the good work. Of course. Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets past me. <laughs> the eyes in the talon of an eagle. Protégé. Are they talking about me? Hayes, my sweet Hayes. Can I trouble you for some of your exquisite coffee? I'd be happy to. You are a treasure as always. I hope you've been keeping well. Uh, oh, well. Finley? I'm sorry, Hayes, but I'm talking to Finley now. Uh, oh, well. Too late. Finley! <laughs> <laughs> Finley peeks her head over the, front, over the upstairs balcony sh to shout down. Come on, Jess. Come downstairs. Press it! Your videos are keeping me busy. We had a whole new attendance record the other day. And six adoptions in two days. The home inspections never end. I'm sorry you have such a precious, adorable girl who are making your business work. You are my internet lifeline. I have no head for such things. I bet he's been lost ever since Telegram went out of style. On the ovary. He's really close now. I don't think I like it. He puts his hand on my shoulder and levels his gaze down to mine. Oh shit. The blue eye is so chilling. It really is telltale heart situation. I'm on to you, Avery. Shit! He knows everything! <laughs> shit! He's gonna kick me out! <laughs> oh, we already know that he we already know that he knows that we have the book. What? You're the fastest learner we've had here yet. I forgot you're still new. I feel like he's not- I feel like he's not just talking about the cafe work. Well, I've been doing a lot of studying. So you have. So you have. Let's go my shoulder and turn away to the rest of the employees. He definitely wasn't talking about the cafe. He definitely knows something about that book. Duh. I'd ask him more, but maybe it's not a good idea in front of everyone else. I'll chase him down later when he's leaving or something. He's just been secretly living at your house and he's hiding under mochi every time they <laughs> 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 come out to see him. Yeah. <clears throat> I have to get more information. Where's my son? I wanted to see her today too. She hasn't been showing up as much on days off lately. Maybe she's found a comfy gig at an old cat lady's or something. I haven't been to your place in ages, though. Na da da da! Surprise, Finley! When did you get here? You startled me! Oh, Mason, I'm so glad you're here. I won't be the same if you didn't join us. As much as I adore your cooking today, I'd rather give you respite. Think we're gonna cook on my day off, huh? Of course not. That is why I will take the pleasure of providing you, my dear employees, with dinner today. But first, an announcement. 
Everyone gather around. <laughs> <laughs> he slips back to the kitchen for a moment. When he returns, he's holding a garment bag. No. You haven't even let me make the announcement. That's sounded like Arthur. <laughs> I know what this is. Absolutely not. For my more co uh, cooperative employees, then. The surely practiced flourish grace and sips the garment bag and lets it fall to the floor. Oh no. No, no. Is that some somehow both played and plaid, plaid and checked fa flannel? Yeah, flannel. I didn't know you can make a suit out of that type of material. That's sort of a applaud silence from everybody. Applaud, <clears throat> by the way. Whatever. I hate English. <laughs> Look at the look he's giving. Grace looks personally offended. Mason just straight up leaves. No appreciation for your new uniforms. I don't think I had it made in your size, Avery. Try it on, Avery. I would try it on. I would be nice. She's still shouting down from the balcony. You're not shouting down. Try it on, Avery. <laughs> didn't already take your headphones off because Amber said you didn't shout it, then I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blame Rowan want to get any closer to that suit either. I'd rather wear a potato sack. That's kind of mean. And I went through such trouble to have it made. Check with us next time before you waste your time. But that's just mean. Tis easier to beg forgiveness than ask permission, as I say. See? You knew we wouldn't agree to it. Well, I'll leave this here in case you all come to reason. Take some time to admire it. <clears throat> I'll be off for one last turn, but trust me, when I return, you'll all be treated to a wonderful meal. Until then, very well. With that, he disappeared into the kitchen. I'm gonna follow him, just to see what happens when he leaves. Here's the kitchen in time to see him slip through the back door. I'm sure I'm gonna see that black cat. I just know it. Peek at the door as he leaves. He gets further and further away from the cafe, but I don't see him change. Not even when he gets past the point where I know he's off cafe grounds. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I guess the others already assumed he wasn't affected by the curse, but why? Does this prove he's the culprit? How else would he escape whatever it was that got everyone else? Although, to be fair, I can't use that as proof. After all, I also escaped the curse and I sure as heck didn't cause it. This seems like a good uh, time as any to see if I can find out more about what's going on. I peep back into the main cafe. It looks like everyone's back to whatever they were doing before. The newly arrived Mason has kicked up her feet on the couch and seems to already be dozing off. Finley did say we would have free access to Gray's apartment. After all, I could go look and see what he's hiding up there. I'm also kind of curious of what it uh, looks like. Then again, but then again, if he was hiding something there, wouldn't somebody have noticed by now? Maybe he keeps all his magic stuff in that creepy basement. I wonder which would be better to search. I'm kind of curious about the apartment. But we shouldn't be... Well, we got free access to the apartment, so... Yeah, guess. people do laundry there. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've always got the chance to go into that creepy basement. I should take the opportunity while Grace is gone to root around his apartment a bit. Yeah, that doesn't sound like we should do something like that, but... Oh, well. I did tell past Finley on the second floor, but she's going to say something to me wh about where I'm going. But she doesn't look up from the computer. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a beautiful apartment. Look at the castle! That is so cute! Wow. It's... Accumulating. <laughs> Accumulating. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Trying to think how that word is. <laughs> it makes me feel embarrassed about the state of my apartment right now. What, whatever. It's not even your apartment. He's probably showing off because he knows people come up here a lot. It's well designed, too. Can make fun... I can make fun of the guy all I want, but I have to admit, he has a sense of style. 
interior decorating wise at least. Heck, the cat castle looks downright. If you don't get this, I'm gonna be ashamed. <laughs> I can't tell if it's a g or a j. Rig. Oh, regal. Damn it. I hate words. I wonder if Landry built that one. Yes. Wait till it goes to British again. <laughs> Landry. <laughs> I don't see any cats in the apartment, but it would make sense that he'd have a setup for them, right? <clears throat> There's probably one in here somewhere. Ah, there we go. I see a single suspicious blue eye peeking at me from the inside the castle. Is that Graves? A black cat pe pe peeks? Yeah, peeks out. It is! Oh, I told you what? It's not. Oh, hey there. The cloudy eye belongs to a dark mass of black fur that refuses to move, even though its gaze follows me everywhere I turn. Hey, buddy, it's okay. A sleek tail thumps in annoyance against the carpet castle wall. <laughs> Count Dracula, awesome. I'll see you at the great Countess Dracula. Shoot. I've been caught. Be cool, Avery. Play it cool. You named your cat Count, uh, Countess Dracula? Just Dracula, but she's a vulnerable lady now. She deserves our respect. She's a ne nearly 19, so I hope you've been taking care uh, You've been taking care with her. Hey, hell, my t my cat oldest cat was 21 when he passed away. Actually, I had two that were 21. The one that was 20. So, I can get where he's going with that. Graves leans forward and pats his head on his legs. His hands on his legs. Yeah, his head on his legs. Straight up, straight up bends right over and smacks his head on his legs and falls down. <laughs> I hate English. I hate it. Slowly, Dracula pulls herself from the cat castle and hops down. She looks good for her age. She's a tall shawl with no people, but she's great. We've been through a lot together. This is my wife, by the way. Dracula is my wife. <laughs> Grace sits on the couch and holds his hand. Ow! Stop playing with your fingers then. <laughs> I was trying to crack it. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, you broke it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I did. With an almost unexpected gentleness. I probably could break my... If I can break someone's ribs, I can break my own finger. Come here, you sweet old lady. Dracula saunters a little bow legged walk up to him and headbutts his palm. Oh. Aww. Hello, darling. I can hear I, I can hear her purring from here. I'm taking it back now. Cute they are together. Ba -ba -da -da. I don't think you'll find what you're looking for in here, but you're welcome to stay for a while regardless. I feel terrible that we haven't been able to talk since you started. I wasn't looking for anything! Yeah, right. You're a terrible liar, you know. Alright, so maybe I was kind of curious. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I'm here now, so if you have any questions... How do you ask someone if they're a witch, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, are you a witch? Seems a bit... I don't know about that. I know there's something weird about this cafe. Well, I'd be insulted if you said anything less about the cafe that I designed. I prefer weird. What do you know about this curse business? <clears throat> Excuse me. His eyes flicker for a moment, cold and fiery, but he turns them back towards Dracula. We are all cursed in our own ways, Ivory. There are some... In instance where you must be your own savior i will if you won't help me you're a strong one i like that hell or hot well, high water i'm gonna stick to it graves and get this dumb curse lifted for everybody oh but i want to turn into a cat It'd be fun how about that although it'd be kind of it's kind of hard for toby to have his puffer if but pause i have to give to him Yes, my cat has a puffer because of his asthma. And he also has anxiety medication. Him and I both have anxiety and asthma. Stop making it with my cat. No, 
<laughs> well, I must be heading out back out. I need to make a few rounds before I pick up dinner. You'll join us, won't you? I gotta pass up free dinner. Ha! <laughs> of course. He stands up from the couch and lightly ruffles my hair as he passes me. Your shop one, Avery. I'm glad we've joined my employee. You've joined my employee. I don't, I fuck I'm it. glad we've all joined my employee. I'm even employed myself. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> well, you're keeping me busy for sure. But he's already gone. How the heck did he leave so quickly? I better get back downstairs. The others might be wondering if I fell asleep or something. Why not? That's a character thing. I drift from person to person, helping everybody with what they're doing for a while, but eventually the urge takes over. I just want to play with the cats! Yep, that's me right there! Shunsuki gets all excited when I bust out the bell toy. Guess I'd be excited too. Owl gets messed up on, up on the catnip toy. Now is sweating at his own tail, but I think the tail might be winning. <sighs> Valentina's roll. Yeah, Valentine is rolling around, kicking at nothing in the air. Seems to be having plenty of fun without me. Marina chases a feather on a string all the way up to the platform. Wish I had that much energy. And then they start taking naps, and that seems like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> The cat's trying to make a move on me. <laughs> <laughs> Toby! Oh. <laughs> Go above there. Stop making a move. You're too young. The summer plays excuse me, Avery from the pile in the corner. Did we, wait, did we just like take a nap and the cat's just like buried us? Probably. Ah! Did we just get like I jumped up for the start. Oops. I fell asleep on the floor. I'm sorry. When did I fall asleep? Good morning, sleepyhead. Look at that bed head. We weren't even on a bed. Why is there garlanding on my head? In fact, I seem to be covered in cat toys. What the heck? Well, we tried to wake you up. With catnip? What is what is all this? Finley. What? I just put a mouse there to see if you'd wake up. And then didn't, so I put another. Oh, Finley. <laughs> and and another. And another. I got some really cute pictures out of it. Hey! Oh my god. Don't put those on the blog! Why would I ever do that? I could care less. That'd be funny. Hey, I put toys all over Dixie. <laughs> she didn't care. I feel like a catnip mouse at Finley as hard as I can. It ricochets off her head. Ha ha ow! <laughs> hey! Okay, okay. They won't go on the blog. Good. Today. Fuck you. <laughs> no. Finley, be nice. I hear my clock meowing. All of you, stop the stark the the stark and fall at hand. Dinner has arrived. I thought you were gonna actually make dinner, not just order takeout. We usually order takeout on days off. It's nice to get a change of pace and try some of the other restaurants around here. <clears throat> Why does Hayes look freaked out of it? And there are fewer dishes to wash. The cuisine de jour is brought to us by the Thai restaurant downtown. You all so enjoy. Thai food. Awesome. But I prefer my Japanese. Mm, yum. Ivory, I believe you'll be experiencing the splendor for the first time tonight. What did you get? He didn't ask me what I wanted from the menu. Well, I did, actually. He mumbled something about pad thai, then rolled over on top of a bunch of cat toys. Well, I mean, that's what I would have wanted anyway, so... I don't remember saying that. <clears throat> Look at the tables and look like they pulled them all together into one long row again. 
Take up boxes piled up in the center of the table and all the places have already been set. Bon appetit, my dear employees. And they pack the sends on the take up boxes. And why is Grace to be so handsome? I love him and Hayes. <laughs> After some sorting, we all settled with our respective food and we were sitting down for dinner. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Grace takes the seat at hand of the table. At head of the table. God damn it! At hand of the table. Yeah, because you <laughs> pat your legs with your head and you put and you sit at the hand of the table. <laughs> <laughs> this is just not my day. <laughs> Crap. Stop making a move! <laughs> well, he claims it in his name, but he's hardly sitting at all. But he's not flirting between. Uh, flitting! <laughs> he's not flirting with all the people that he employs. And offering us drinks, he's standing behind his chair telling a story in a as grand as grace gesture as you imagine. When I was in college, none of you would have recognized me. What? Did you take a break from your goth phase? You go young. You you you, you go grunge for a while. I will never break style. No, in fact, if anything, I suppose you could say I was more goth then. I had a long black hair and I wore such elaborate makeup. I like you the way you are right now. Don't change. If anything, that sounds more on a brand than you are right now. Why stop? You can't imagine how much time that took for my day. I have a business to run now, after all. Plus, I might scare all the kids. <laughs> with, the, with the makeup and the long hair. It's not natural. <laughs> Especially since I'm an adult. I'm like 30, 40. <laughs> And this isn't necessarily a goth running place, so I mean... No, it's, it's my style. Like, this is my style. Dad showed me a photo once. The one of you with your bandmate. Who? Hey. The guy with the mohawk? I don't know how he got such a huge hawk. Ah. Yes. It was pure witchcraft, thought here. He's doing it on purpose, isn't he? Toby, that's not a toy. That's not a toy! <laughs> He's just like, bracelet, yay! It's not a bracelet, that's for the curtains. <laughs> it's a curtain holder. Oh, it is. That's right, I looked up at the curtains while you were saying that, and I was just like, hey, there's the other one. <laughs> yeah, there's supposed to be two on this side. I only see one on the floor, only the other one went. With the witch jokes. Wait, wait. You were in a band? <clears throat> Are you really surprised by that, Landry? Come on! Everybody was in a band in the 90s. I don't recall that stereotype, but yes. I was, in fact, in a band. I bet it was called, like, Masters of the Night or something like that. No, Avery, it was not. I oh, thank you to give me more credit than that. <laughs> nah, more like Nightly Nightshade. Or Dark Carousel. No, no. Or Sorrows of Blood? It too, Hayes? You too? <laughs> <laughs> You're all so cruel. You have to tell us the real name or they'll keep going. I refuse to further enable this slander. <laughs> it was Cider Coven. Spider Coven with an X. Race! What? How do you spell spider with an X? Goth willpower. Aha! You're kidding me! They had a song that was called something like Rose Baptism. I only remember the parts that Words in French, but... No, no, no. No. <clears throat> Went something like... No, no. This is treacherous. My own pupil betrays me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Tr 
rap within my own mind. Something, something in French. My will dissolves the blood. The soul's red rind. Life is but a march towards death. Right, Grace? Grace isn't even listening to us anymore. He's pacing around and mumbling in agony. Oh, poor Grace. How do you know all this, Reese? Graves and my dad went to college together. He went to their shows. He met your mother at one of them, if I recall. You have me to thank for your very existence, my boy. Ugh, don't put it like that. Too late, already did. Everybody's laughing and having a good time. Even Graves is being a good sport. This is nice. Toby, you know you're not supposed to be sitting in my stepmom's chair. That's her leather chair. No scratching it. Okay, I clipped your claws. Grace is a lot more charming than I thought. He knows how to work a crowd, at least. I'm starting to get it. I guess this is why nobody is all that mad at Grace, even though they're going through this weird nonsense. It's kind of like everybody's weird, uh, weird, but... Ben benevolent? Benevolent uncle. We all chat over dinner, then coffee, and before I know it, the sun is totally gone. How long have I been doing this? Shoot, I better get home and feed Mochi before he throws a fit. He's got real passive-aggressive when he's fed late. It is quite late. I'll take care of all the dishes and sundry. So please relax and prepare yourself to face the day tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah, I guess we better all get going, huh? Hmm. Later. Mason's already headed out the back. She barely even turns her head when she waves goodbye. Alright, everybody. See you tomorrow. And we'll end it right here, because we're at 36 minutes. This Toby, stop scratching the chair! Anyways, this was fun. Hope you enjoyed. Stop staring at me. He's staring at me. Until next time, bye! See you later, peeps!